Hello, everyone. Welcome to the February membership meeting with the Historic Wells Chamber of Commerce. This is Valerie speaking. I am so grateful that you guys have taken the time to come out and be with us this evening. I have been tasked with the opportunity to show you around the membership side of the new chamber software program that we're using. And I wanted to make this little video since I wasn't able to attend with you tonight. I just wanted to give you an overview of how you can log in, how you can create an account and the different functions that you're going to be able to use right away. And maybe some of the upcoming things that we will be sharing with you. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go to a Google, just plain old Google uh, tab here. And I'm going to look for the Wallace Chamber website, which is wallaceid.fun. Now this website's going to be getting a facelift pretty soon. We are working on bringing it up to speed, having some information available that connects very smoothly. It's very user-friendly. So from our website, for those of you who are members and who have the ability to go in and access your membership login, you're going to go right to members and down to member login. Now, if you don't have a member login yet, when you go here, it will prompt you to creating an account. Once you say create an account, you put in your first and your last name, you use the email address that is connected with your chamber membership, then you'll receive an email that'll walk you the rest of the way through creating your member login. So we're gonna look at mine just because that's easier for me to do. I don't have a test one. So let's go ahead and check that out here. Once you sign in, you're gonna be brought to your dashboard. So this is gonna be the place where you can find all of your information about your membership and your business or your organization. One thing I would highly suggest is to watch this tour of the Info Hub. This will give you an in-depth look at all of the functions that are available with your personal membership login. You'll also have an opportunity to see here if there's a current balance on anything. This could be a ticket to a dinner. It could be a ticket to an event. It could be your membership dues or maybe a sponsor request. So you'll be able to see your current balance now and be able to make sure that you are on top of all of those. This also helps Julie with making her job a whole lot easier, being able to have that connection to you. You're also gonna see over here on the right, upcoming events. Now this is the event calendar that is linked directly to the Chamber's website. So you're gonna see some different events that aren't Chamber events, but events that are going on locally that have been going on for quite some time. You can click on any of those events to check them out and find out you know, who's connected with them if you wanna contact them for any information. This is one of the quickest ways to get to those. The other thing is chamber sponsored events or events that we are hosting, uh, events where there's tickets available from the chamber will have a registration box here. So you're able to go ahead and click register now and you can get your tickets for the craft beer pub crawl because that is coming up at the end of April and it's gonna be amazing. We're really working hard on um, up-leveling this. Raylan Howell at Wallace Brewing is working very hard on making this an even better event than last year. So you're able to get your tickets right from their dashboard. Down here, if you know anyone who you think needs to be a member of the chamber, you can refer them to us. So let's go ahead and just look over here on the left at these few things really quick. First, you're gonna find that my dog is um, telling me somebody's here. Second is you're gonna be able to see your info. So on your info, you're gonna be able to edit your mailing address, your email address, all of the things that are connected to your membership with the chamber. You can enter a bio, you can look at the business categories. This is going to be important because you're going to want to connect yourself to the business 
category that best fits what you're doing. I have not done that. So I'm going to go ahead and click health and wellness and assisted living, specialty services. And I think that's it for me, but you do have the option of three different ones. When you say done, that's gonna hook your information into those specific categories. What this does is make sure that when people come to visit our website, they're able to click on that category and see all of our members that are under that category. So the integration between your membership hub, this dashboard and the chamber website are going to flow very smoothly together, which is giving us the opportunity to really boost your business and have another platform for you to be able to be seen by guests and visitors. Now for lists and committees, this is where we will end up putting in some of the committees that we have that you're able to volunteer with, things such as the pub crawl or Chris, the home for the holidays, um, the fall for history, all of those different things will be listed here. So you can pick one of those. These are a few things that you are going to be able to see in your membership. This is going to just be what your membership is when we actually decide to put a membership number to people, which isn't really necessary, but just some options where you can make some updates to your business. This is going to show if you have things that are due and what the due date is and actions you can take. Now under my directory listings, this is where you're going to view your listing in a certain category. When we put those categories in before, you're going to be able to be seen in the directory here. Now, this is something that we're working on because we are still integrating the two, pro, the website and the Growth Zone program together. These directory listings will be updated. So um, maybe make a note to come back in in a couple of weeks or in the middle of March and check to make sure you're hooked up to all of the right directories. Subscriptions here, you're going to be able to subscribe to some of our email subscriptions. We're working on the ability to integrate the Wallace Wednesday here. There may be some other email subscriptions that come out in the future. On the events tab, this is where you're going to have another ability to see those different events. Now, some of these show that they're edible, but that's because I'm able to do that as part of the Chamber um, Growth Zone Committee. So you're not going to see these, but you'll be able to see these. You're going to be able to add them to your own calendar and you can just kind of see what's coming up in the Silver Valley and in Wallace. Okay, so the other part of this that's going to be something that's coming soon, we're going to have the ability for you to be able to post when you're looking for a new employee or maybe a volunteer for your organization. Some other things that are coming up will be the ability to run a pop-up ad on the Chamber website where guests will see your business or your organization dominantly on the website. There's a whole lot of other things that are coming with this. Right now, what we are really encouraging everybody to do is to get your member login, your, create your account so that you can go in and make sure all of your information is up to date. And then we will teach you some other things as they are released. So thank you all for coming to the membership meeting. I missed seeing all of you, but I will see you at the next one. Have a fantastic evening and we will see you soon.